The theme for this year's lecture was climate justice globally, now and for the future. During his opening remarks, Tutu stressed that global emissions of gases have remained unchecked for decades. Time is running out. We are already experiencing loss of life and livelihood because of intensified storms, shortage of fresh water, spread of disease, rising food prices, and the creation of climate refugees. The most devastating effects are visited on the poor, those with no involvement in creating the problem. Today, we say nobody should profit from the rising temperatures, seas, and human suffering caused by the burning of fossil fuels. We can no longer continue feeding our addiction to fossil fuels as if there is no tomorrow. For there will be no tomorrow. It was after the hardships faced two years ago, during a period of severe drought in the Western Cape, that Ayaka Meletafa decided to take action. She joined Project 90 by 2030, a social and environmental justice organization based in Cape Town. I've been protesting with fellow activists in Cape Town and had a direct encounter with our president, Mr. Cyril Ramaphosa. And he promised us that he was going to make sure that no African child is left behind in the 100% just transition to renewable energy. And we will make sure that he keeps that promise. I also attended the World Economic Forum to urge world leaders to take drastic action in addressing the climate crisis. The Ugandan Nakate became a climate change activist in January 2019 after seeing how it affected her country. She says climate change is the greatest threat facing humanity. The current crisis is not something that is coming in the future. You must treat this as a crisis. Leaders must realize that the climate change issue is an urgent issue. It is a serious issue, and now is the time for them to face the climate emergency. Friends, family, and members of the public also sent messages of support and well wishes online for Tutu during the lecture as he celebrated his 89th birthday. Corbin August, SABC News. Cape Town.